Okay, so we're just gonna use a couple quick wick items to make some quick healthy snacks. So here I just chopped up an apple, which I got on wick, and then I'm gonna add some peanut butter to it. Now you could just leave it simple as that with the apple and peanut butter, or we could take and throw just a little bit of chocolate chips on that. Would you like this? Yes. Okay, she's going to take that one. Same type of idea with a banana cut down the middle with um, chocolate chips and peanut butter. You can also wrap those in the summertime. You can wrap them in aluminum foil and do it over the fire and just let them melt. So then we're going to take some banana here. Sometimes you can do this. We do this for breakfast. Just chop up a banana. And then we're going to take some yogurt. I'm using a Greek yogurt here. Just going to put a plop on top here. A little bit more. And then I'm going to add some of this peanut butter. And then some people like either granola or the cereal on top, and some people do not. So I would let them choose that themselves. Okay, another thing is just like a parfait style. So all we're going to do is take some berries, throw them in the bowl. If you have younger kids, there's whole berries in this mix. If you have younger kids, cut the whole berries up for them first or defrost it. And then we're going to add just some yogurt and then granola right on top of that. So those are just a couple quick, simple snacks, healthy snacks for your kids that you can do. Okay, so we're going to make some yogurt pops here. I have two cups of frozen fruit. I'm going to do, I don't know, one to two tablespoons of honey. Of course, mine's right at the bottom. Let's see. Let's use it every little bit. And then I'm going to take my measuring cup and I'm going to measure out two cups of yogurt. This works well too if you are doing homemade yogurt, but either way, you can also make yogurt with excess milk that you have if you want. And that's fairly simple. I'll do a separate video on how to make yogurt. So just two full cups. This does not have to be Greek yogurt. It can be any type of yogurt. I had the Greek yogurt out already, so we're using it. Okay. So I have this container that I got. There's tons of different containers. You can use just, just use old, um, either yogurt cups or something like that. Whatever you want to do, solo cups. Um, I got this container off of Amazon. Makes it really convenient. So I'll link that in the description box below if you're interested in getting the same one. <clears throat> a good place to find blenders, a lot of times I find my blenders at thrift stores. Some of those strawberries are pretty big in there. Sometimes I have to add just a little bit of milk. We'll see if I need to. I think I'm going to add a little bit. Let's see. about 
two tablespoons. You could use water too if you didn't have milk. done except for this one strawberry it doesn't like being here. I'm gonna scrape it down. Make sure we mix all we can in. Okay. I might add a little bit more milk so it's easier to pour. So probably a fourth a cup altogether. Okay, so now I'm just going to, I'll take my blade out. So that's two cups of the um, frozen berries, two cups of the yogurt, two tablespoons of honey, and probably a fourth a cup of the milk. Now, if they were defrosted berries, you probably wouldn't need that milk. kids will be so excited for these. Um, once you make these, if you have like one silicone thing like this, you can take them out and put them into baggies and then make some more. You don't have to um, keep them in these the whole time. I don't have a lot of freezer room for like multiple units like this, but <clears throat> you can just make them and either put them in a container or you can um, make them and just put them in baggies. This one comes out with some starter starter baggies. Not all of them do. But sandwich bags will work just fine. I always want to make sure too that um, when you're doing these, I never like to leave an empty space. So if there's not quite enough, what I'll do is, I might be quite enough here. What I would do if I didn't have quite enough is I could just put a um, some juice in the container so you'd actually have a full batch of a full batch of popsicles. So I'm just gonna shove all that in there. That's good enough, that'll be good for my younger daughter. So then I'm just gonna put this on like this and we have popsicle sticks somewhere. Oh, here they are. You can reuse popsicle sticks as well. I just got this new silicone one because my other one had broken, so. I actually like this one better because it has um, these. My other one did not, and it was kind of like balancing the popsicle sticks with the pain. I love that this has a top on it. Because our freezer can get quite full. Okay, so I'm gonna put those in the freezer in just a minute, but I'm gonna show you guys real quick too how to just make a simple smoothie. These are really nutritious. You can have these for breakfast. Um, you could have them for a snack, <clears throat> whatever. So I'm gonna take some greens. It doesn't really matter what kind of greens. I'm gonna use this um, power blend here. This might help 
if I open the right side of it. How to open the package. Okay, and I'm just gonna grab about this much, probably about half a cup if you packed it in there. And then I'm going to grab some berries, about a cup of berries. And then I'm going to add, now I can add water, I can add milk, I can add almond milk, I can add whatever I want to that. I'm gonna just use the milk that I just had out. And I'm gonna cover it so it's almost just over the berries. If you wanted a little bit more nutrition, just add a scoop, a little more creamy, a scoop of your yogurt. Um, you could also add a little bit of avocado to it. one too that the kids like you could do like frozen bananas just take bananas as they're gonna start to go really brown put those in your freezer you can put a banana in there with some peanut butter and some milk and the kids really like that one I'll just pour this out for you all guys There you go. Quick, easy, and nutritious. That probably did four to six cups, depending on the size cups that you have. So I hope you enjoyed these recipes, and we'll talk again soon.